Hello again, it's me, Tom Little Tom, and this time I'm coming to you from inside the museum. Sadly quiet and empty at the moment, but from August we'll be able to welcome you back in so you can see what's inside. And obviously the museum tells the story of the Top of the Martyrs, their arrest, their trial, the transportation, and their return, their triumphant return back to Britain. And it tells the story of James Frampton, the local magistrate and landowner, who was so adamant he, he would not tolerate trade union activity in his area. He was prepared to go to all lengths to prevent this happening, to, to frame an unjust trial. And among other things, we've got these letters here. These letters from Thomas Warren, Reverend Thomas Warren, the vicar of Tolpuddle. Now these are quite a recent acquisition in the museum and we're really pleased to have them. Now, Warren has always been a key part of the story. George Douglas actually wrote about the role of the church on his return in his book, The Church, shown up. And in particular, it was the kind of, his lack of moral fibre, the fact he actually betrayed the martyrs so Warren himself had earlier actually promised the martyrs that he would support their claim for fair wages. But at the trial, he denied ever having made such a promise. He basically did what Frampton and the landowners told him to do. And there's a lot to suggest with their comfortable living and their vicarages, that the vicars, the Anglican vicars, were kind of under the thumb of the ruling class, essentially administering the will of the establishment. That's certainly the view of George Lovelace and the Methodists at the time. And we knew that Warren was a kind of a traitor, and in a sense, something, there's something worse about someone who's supposed to be a moral guardian, a, 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 a moral guide, who actually turns out to have no moral backbone, no, 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 no integrity whatsoever. Um, but we never knew, until now, we never knew his own internal thinking, his own voice, his own reasons for the things that he did. And these letters, which he wrote, letters dated 1834 from Tolpuddle in Thomas Warren's own hand, and these letters give us some insight into his thinking. And what that insight gives us is a picture of a man who is utterly opposed to trade unions. In his own words, these unions must be put a stop to, or the country will be together by the years. So he's going beyond just the Tolpada story. He is seeing this as the beginning of a movement. So it's not just the trade union movement itself that looks back and says, this is the birth of modern trade unionism. We see that the landowners, the squirearchy, the church, see it as the same. They see that this is the beginning of a vast social and political change taking place. And they're frightened. And we also see him comment on the petition, the petition taken to Parliament, the petition to bring the martyrs home. As he says, let's see it, on Sunday they came to me with a petition so worded that I could not sign it. Last night they came back and broke every pane in my downstairs windows. So we're seeing kind of febrile violence. We're seeing also the church trying to kind of maintain the established order. So these letters, among the other things here, absolutely fascinating insight. So hopefully, not long after the festival, we'll be able to welcome you back and we really look forward to seeing you here.